them softly with kindness and gratitude. What's up you guys? I'm back with another video, finally. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how I edit my Instagram pictures because this video is highly requested and I think it'll be fun to do. It's a little different um, and everyone's doing it right now. So let's just get on with the video. So the first thing I do, the apps that I use mainly are Lightroom, um, Visco, and then Facetune. Sometimes, occasionally I'll use Facetune, but um, yeah, so I start with Lightroom. And I'm just gonna go in with the random picture that I just took for this video. Um, let's go with this one, I guess. So I'm gonna take this picture and I go in with the light feature and I turn the exposure up a little bit. I turn the contrast up a little bit. And then I kind of just play around with the whites and the blacks. I like my feet to be a little brighter with a lot of more color so that is why I'll go in with these ones and then I go into the color tool and I play around with the saturation I turn the saturation up a little bit and then I go into mix and this is what really makes your photos like pop the colors in your pictures so I'll just look at what colors are in the picture and here I see like kind of pink or I think this will count as red for my dress and my phone case so I'll get the saturation button and I'll turn it up and then I'll get hue and just play around with that. As you see, it makes it like more pink here and then more neutral and like peachy here. So then I'll just turn it a little bit to the more pinky side. And then my skin tone is orangey, so I'll go to orange, turn the saturation up a little bit, turn the luminance. Look at how tan you can make yourself look and look fake. But, um, yeah, so I'll just turn that down a little bit. Oh, actually, we're not, actually, I'm just going to leave it like that. <laughs> and then the hue, you can obviously play around with it, but I'm going to leave it normal in the middle. And then that's usually all that I'll do, but my nails are blue, so I guess I'll just go in with the blue and just make it a little um, brighter. So then that's really all I do in, oh, and then I'll go and crop, and I'll crop it for Instagram, crop my foot out a little bit. <laughs> Alright, so that is all I do for um, Lightroom, and I really love this app, like, so much. This is what's really transformed my feed to make it a lot brighter. Um, so then I'll close up Lightroom, save it to my camera roll, and then I'll go into Visco. And I will put a filter on it sometimes. Let's see. So I'll take the picture, press edit, and then I kind of just choose a filter that I like. Usually I really aim towards E7 for some pictures, but this picture, I don't really like it on it. Um, that filter just makes it look really tan. So... Yeah, I'll just pick a filter, pretty much. What am I feeling today? Um, I also use Q3 a lot of the time, but as you can see, it's really intense right here. So I will turn it down a lot, and I'll go to about four. And then, as you can see, here's the before and the after. It just makes the colors a lot more saturated and, like, contrasted at the same time. So then, I will just turn the exposure up a little bit more. And then every time I turn the exposure up, I also turn the contrast up. So, here I am doing that. Um, do I want this filter? You know, I'm actually gonna go with E7, but I'm gonna turn it to about five and a half. Yeah, five and a half. And then I will save it to my camera roll. So I'll save this picture. 
and then I will go in with Facetune and this is so I can whiten the backgrounds of my pictures because as you can see my walls were a little bit like yellowy so I'm going to take this picture and then use the whiten tool and then the background I'll just zoom in and whiten up the background as much as I can just so um, the subject of the picture which is me stands out more um, and then at the end if I think it's too white like if it looks black and white in the background I will just like erase a layer of it or something like that make sure you get every part of the picture so here I am doing my carpet and my blankets I know my bed's not made don't judge me and then make sure you zoom in and get the cracks too because the cracks are nothing to forget you know and then I'll just do my carpet because I don't really like the brown color that it gives off for my feet um, so yeah and then I'm just gonna take the erase button and kind of put it on my window up here just because it really turned that white and looks like I had nothing nothing up there so that is that and now since the background is white I'm just going to save this picture and then sometimes I'll go in with the details button which is a little pyramid looking thing and zoom in on my face and kind of like do it on my eyes and my eyebrow and my nose hole and my lips which just makes it pop out a lot more and then I'll also do it on my bracelet because it's black and then save oh I'm actually gonna okay yeah I'm gonna save it so then from there I go in to unum unum I don't know how do you say that um and then actually I'm not on wi-fi so it's not gonna work but this app is really cool because you can um like basically you log into your Instagram and then it loads your feed on there and then you can like add pictures into your feed and see if they'll match and like so then you can um, edit them up and stuff like that but I'm not on Wi-Fi because I don't have Wi-Fi yet here so it's not gonna load so what should I do um I'll just open it up in here and then I'm gonna also open up Instagram this is my Instagram by the way my feed looks like this it's pretty just bright and colorful and really saturated on every picture so then I'll just look back and forth and see if I think it'll match and I think it would match so that's that one and then I'm also just gonna edit another quick picture for you guys I don't even know what picture I'm gonna do so I'm gonna use Lightroom again and then go in with oh gosh selfies I guess so I'm gonna edit this picture right here don't zoom in and look at my face because my face is really not um, photo ready <laughs> I'm kind of just doing it for the background of this video so all right so I'm gonna go in with light and then I'm going to turn the exposure up and the contrast up and then I'm gonna play around with the shadows, leave them, play around with the whites, turn it up a little bit, and the blacks, I'm just gonna keep it how it is. And then I'm gonna go in with the color button and turn the saturation up quite a bit. And then I'm gonna go in with the mix button and find what colors are in the picture. So there's obviously blues, which is the sky. So I'm gonna turn the saturation up, the hue a little bit down because I like the aqua color. And then the luminance, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. And then the water actually counts as green sometimes. I don't know, not this time. All right, so the grass. I'm gonna turn the saturation up. And the hue, I'm gonna make it a little more dark green. The sand probably counts as yellow, so I'm gonna change that up a little bit and turn it down so it's not as yellowy. And then, I'm going to go in with red because my bikini is red and just make that a little more 
deeper red. And then my skin tone, orange. I'm gonna turn the saturation up. The hue, keep it the same. The luminance a little bit down. So as you can see, just in that like five seconds, the difference in this picture is crazy. Like the colors are so much brighter and it's so much nicer. So I'm just gonna save that. And sometimes I don't even add filters on my pictures. Like this one doesn't need a filter, I don't think, because it's um, bright enough like that. So, uh, so yeah, that is how I edit my Instagram pictures. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope all of you that requested it were pretty satisfied with this video because that is literally all I do to edit my pictures. So yeah, if you have any more questions for my feed or anything, leave them down below. I'll definitely answer them because this video was kind of just all over the place and I don't know if you got everything you needed out of it. So yeah, also leave video requests down below because I'm going to be posting and uploading a lot more. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I will see you in my next video. Don't know when that's going to be, but hopefully soon. Alright, bye guys.